こんにちは。Welcome to Kiko Network Channel.At this channel we are discussing key points regarding energy and climate change issues.Our ninth theme is problems concerning the Atomic Energy Commission. The other day, it was reported that many businesses had gathered over 20 times in informal, secret meetings to discuss deliberations on the nuclear fuel cycle problem and policy outlines regarding nuclear power. It was also revealed that five members of the Atomic Energy Commission had attended these meetings. Furthermore, there had also been eight people transferred to the Secretariat of the Atomic Energy Commission from electric companies and nuclear related manufacturers. So, the existence of a coalition known as the Nuclear Village amongst industry and government was exposed, and in order to democratically determine a nuclear energy policy, these vested interests must be addressed and weeded out from the base of the Atomic Energy Commission. Since November 2010, before the earthquake, I have been participating in deliberations as a member of the New Policy Planning Council within the Cabinet Office of the Atomic Energy Commission. Now, through this experience, I have witnessed firsthand the serious problems regarding the structure of the Atomic Energy Commission. The framework for nuclear energy policy summarizes research activities, development, and use of nuclear energy. In addition to the direction of government policy and expectations from key stakeholders. Now, the new Policy Planning Council, established in November 2011, was an, atte was an attempt to rectify this old framework. These deliberations were temporarily suspended after the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident, then resumed in September of 2011. Yet, surprisingly, even after the accident, The basic stance on nuclear energy has not changed course and it has basically maintained the position outlined in the interim report of discussions of a new policy document、uh, compiled by the Secretariat right before the accident on March the 8th, 2011. Now, within this interim report, nuclear power is deemed to have taken several safety measures and seismic safety improvements and is considered a superior energy source from the viewpoint of. Energy stability, climate change, and cost efficiency. It was concluded therein that for economical and environmental reasons, that policies should be taken to ensure that nuclear energy remains as the base energy in the future. Now, after the accident, It could be said that these claims have been completely turned upside down. As a member of the committee at the Citizens Nuclear Information Center, I have been repeatedly, I have been repeatedly saying that these arguments must be reconsidered, but this has been to no avail, obviously. The Atomic Energy Commission, who has decided the present policy, Has a large responsibility for the Fukushima accident. Yet, since the accident, officials, including Chairman Kondo, are yet to express any regrets. Now, without any reflection on the accident, the Atomic Energy Commission is attempting to continue deliberations as per business as usual. To begin with, the configuration of community members, including the chairman, Indicates that a fair deliberation cannot be made. After deliberations were assumed in August 2011, there was a slight change in committee members. But as you can see, it's basically maintained the same configuration and vested interests as before March the 11th, and it comprises, as, usually, as usual, of mostly pro nuclear stakeholders in the red. It is a one sided configuration. To give some concrete examples of some other problems in this structure, committee member Omoto was appointed to the Atomic Energy Commission while receiving consul consulting fees as a TEPCO advisor and continued to counsel even a year after the accident. In addition, the Secretariat of the Atomic Energy Commission is operated by staff from electric companies and manufacturers seconded from the Central Research Institute of Electric Power. 
in this situation, there is no way we can expect a nuclear energy policy considering the standpoint of citizens. And then it was revealed that informal secret meetings had been held unknown to other committee members. Parts of the materials distributed at the informal secret meetings have been made public now, but not everything. To begin with, the Atomic Energy Commission was established to promote long-term use of nuclear power and has ever since been making policy outlines to achieve this goal. Since the Fukushima accident, as nuclear dependency is being reconsidered and an independent regulatory agency for safety administration is in the process of being set up, the very role of Atomic Energy Commission is being questioned. In regards to the operations of the Atomic Energy Commission, its operations as well as an investigation regarding the cause of the accident must be conducted via a third party. So to ensure energy policy is deliberated in a just and transparent manner, we need to also view this situation as a severe problem of democracy.